Okay, now it's time for our one minute artist bit. This week's artist is very famous and I like him because he wears stripes a lot. His name is Pablo Picasso. One minute artist, Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso was born in Spain in 1881 and is considered one of the 20th century's most influential artists. He's an abstract artist and also the co-founder of the Cubism art movement. Cubism is a style of art which tries to show all the possible viewpoints of a person or object at once. It's called Cubism because the artworks look like they're made out of cubes or other geometric shapes. This painting is called The Three Musicians. Pablo Picasso painted a lot of different portraits in the Cubism style. This one is called Weeping Woman and shows a lady who is crying into her handkerchief. Pablo Picasso's full name was Pablo Diego Jose Francisco de Paula Juan Nepomucina Maria de los Remedios Cipriano de la Santa Cima Trinidad Ruiz y Picasso. Guernica is the name of one of Picasso's largest and most famous paintings. It is nearly eight meters long and depicts the horror of the Spanish Civil War. And that is Picasso in a minute. Well, that was quite interesting and also educational. I thought what we could do is our own Picasso-inspired cubist self-portrait. Now you remember that we did a self-portrait a few weeks ago in the style of Paul Clay. Do you remember the one line, I'll pop it up there, the one line drawing of our face. Now we're gonna do a similar thing. So we draw our face, but this time we're gonna cut it up, stick it back together in a different order so it looks all weird and cubist. So first of all, we're gonna need a sheet of paper and then something to draw with. So I'm gonna use the pen that I used at the beginning of the show. And it's quite simple, you just draw your face. So if you've got a mirror or a mobile phone so you can look at yourself, that helps. Uh, I'm gonna do mine from memory because I know what I look like. I'll do my nose here and under my nose is a moustache. Hopefully none of you have got a moustache. Little smile. I'll do one eye there, one eye there, and the eyebrow, eyebrow, and to my head, the top of my head. I've got some lines. I'm also wearing a cap. Beard, of course, I can't forget my beard. And do one ear here, do another ear here, big old ears, do some lines in my beard to give it a bit of texture. Do some lines in my moustache as well. Oh, and do a bit of my stripy top as well. Pablo Picasso would like that. So that's my basic portrait and it doesn't matter if it doesn't look exactly like you because we're going to be cutting it up and sticking it back together. So that's what we do next. Grab your scissors. Make sure you don't throw them or catch them or swallow them or anything else really stupid. Be sensible is what I'm saying. And all you need to do is just start chopping out the individual bits. So I'm going to chop out my stripy top. And again, you don't have to be really neat because and if you like, you can chop that in half. Anything goes. First rule of art club, there are no rules. Uh, I'm going to chop out and I might chop out the peak of the cap and then the rest of the cap and you can get rid of bits that you don't need Out. 
So I'm doing this really quickly, but you can take your time over it. I'll snip that bit there, and that's got an ear on it, so we'll keep that ear. And we'll get rid of that bit. And let's do the other ear while we're, while we're doing ears, we'll do the other one. Let's do the two bits of my moustache, let's chop them out. And let's cut out my nose. You can be quite rough with this, it really doesn't have to be super neat. Let's cut out my eyes. There's, oh no, I've not cut out the eyebrow with this one. I will cut the eyebrow out separately. Or I could leave the eyebrow there, but I might just do, just slice my face in half. I might slice my beard up a bit as well. Uh, and just do a weird shape like that. So we've got all of these bits. Now what we need to do is to stick them back down on another sheet of paper, but put them in a bit of a weird order. I think the trick to this is to make it kind of semi-recognisable, but at the same time a little bit weird. So I've got my glue stick here, and I think I will start with my nose. And I'll pop that. I shall pop my nose. I'll pop my nose sort of there. This bit was some face. So I think a real good tip here is trying to get quite a bit of glue on there so the edges stick down. It just makes it a bit easier when you're colouring in. I think I'll put my other part of my face going up that way. Or that way, it doesn't matter. Beard. And the other part of my beard, I think I'll just, what could I do? I could, I could have that coming over here. I've got my cap here. I think I'll put part of my cap at the top where it should be. And then I'll put some stripes at the bottom here. Not the right way up, but it doesn't matter. That's the whole point of this. do is just snip the peak of my cap in half and put one half there let's put the other half below one half there what have we got left we've got some ears and some eyes and some mustache I know this would be good let's put one ear there and the other ear on the same side, just a bit lower down. Ooh, I've got some glue on that. There we go. And my eyes, you can see the gaps where the eyes have come from, but I'm not going to put them back in those. I'll put one of them, I'll put one in my beard. The other one I might put there. What have we got left? Oh, it's my moustache, isn't it? I'll put, I might put one of them near my nose, so you can tell that that's what it is. And then I might put the other one under one of my eyes. Well, there's a, actually there's a really nice gap there, isn't there? Let me put it there. So that's it all stuck down. Now what you might like to do is get your pen that you did the drawing with and just add a few more lines or connect a few things up. Or if you've got some patterns, like the texture lines that I put in my beard or the stripes on my shirt, you can extend those or add them back in in other places. And once you're happy with how you've stuck things down, now you can color it in. And you can color it in any colors you like. Your skin doesn't have to be the same color as your skin. Your eyes don't have to be the color that your eyes are. And the stripes on your shirt or whatever your pattern is, they don't have to be the same color. So just go crazy.
And there you go, your very own Pablo Picasso inspired cubist self portrait. I would love to see yours. If your mums and dads do take photos of them and share them with me, make sure they use the hashtag Olaf Art. And also, if they take a picture of you holding up your artwork, please make sure that you're wearing stripes.